Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Leanne and thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as you can see from the title, yes, yes, I do have a love-hate relationship with liquid lipsticks. Um, I love the idea of them. Idea of them is a is a good word. <laughs> I love the idea of them. I love not having to touch up my makeup all day long. Um, but I have some issues with them. Um, I have a, I don't want to mess up my order that I got going on here, but I bought a lot. Some of them I tried, some of them I haven't, because um, I kind of wanted to go through it with you guys. I bought high end, I bought low end, um, drugstore, various price ranges, some I bought on the internet, some I bought in different stores. And I kind of want to go over this with you. I did the rest of my makeup. I kind of went for a a simple eye look, simple face, because I have some cool colors and I have some rather what I thought were nice colors, which turned out to be not so nice, but, but we'll see about that. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm dying. I'm in New York. Um, it's October, guys. I mean, really, I loved the summer. I was happy for the summer. And now I just want to see it go away. Okay, can we have some fall now? Honestly, can we have some fall weather and not this 80 degree humidity? It's killing me. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so I'm going to be trying them all on. I have hold that thought. Oh, my trusty wipes here and my poor little lips are going to get a lot of abuse. But, you know, it's, it's worth it to let you guys know what I think. Um, obviously it's not going to be um, a wear test as to really how long they last, but it's going to be the color, how they apply, how they feel on the lips, um, and what they do for me. Normally I would probably line my lips, but I'm not going to do that because I have too many different colors going on that I'm going to be trying. So the first one up, I researched some prices and everything online for you and, and you know, most sites, popular sites that everybody goes to. I'm going to try um, an Anastasia. Anastasia is really expensive. Um, they're 20 bucks each. It's expensive for my taste anyway, but you know, when you find something good, you don't mind spending a lot of money on it. Here it is. I bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip with Lipstick in Lovely. You go and get a good idea. To me, it looked like a pretty pink. Let's take a look at what the doe fat applicator looks like. Um, okay, it has, I like the doe fat applicator because it's actually got a bit of a slanted tip. Maybe that will, of course, it's got some gunk on the top of it. Alrighty then, let, let's, that wasn't a good start, but let's get that off. Okay, so let's see how it goes on. Drum roll, please. The color is really pretty. I kind of like it. Um, it's a tiny bit patchy. Not a huge amount. I like the way it feels when it goes on. Um, it goes on very wet. <clears throat> so let's see what happens when it dries. See if I can dry it down quicker. See how it looks in with a lighted makeup mirror. Um, it's pretty, but in this like close-up mirror here, it kind of ah and okay lipstick on the teeth. I guess that could happen with this one. Just a warning. It kind of settles into my lines, and I gotta get this lipstick off my teeth. All right, let's try that now. I better. Still tacky, but it kind of settles into my lines, even though the color is really pretty. Um, it's settling into my lines. It's kind of like not the color's not in the creases and in, in little cracks in my line, so it kind of looks a little weird. Just kind of saying. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my cat, who's he is inserting himself into my video. Okay, he's got to behave now. Um, anyway, again, getting off topic. So the only thing I can say is maybe you need, again on the teeth, maybe you need really young lips to, to wear this. I mean, I don't have perfect lips anymore. When As I get older, things are changing. Um, my lips aren't as full as they used to be. Um, and they've developed 
<coughs> excuse me, some, you know, fine lines and everything, but there's what it looks like. I don't know if this is distracting you, but I'll turn that off for a minute. There's what it looks like. So I don't need you guys be the judge. As it dries down, it's it's taken a long time to dry. It's still tacky when I press my lips together. Okay, now it feels... I feel it on my lips. It feels dry. Let's do a kiss-proof test. Okay, not completely transfer resistant. You can, it does come off a little bit. But I guess it's pretty good. Okay. You know, please leave me some comments down below what you think of the colors, whether you agree, whether you've used these for yourself and they work for you. You know, I'm more mature, I have more mature skin. So again, these may not work for me, but you guys let me know. Okay, take this one off. Um, and it's not that easy to get off. <laughs> now that I've taken the foundation off around my mouth, but that was one. Okay, so let's go into Makeup Revolution. I recently just discovered Makeup Revolution. I like a few of their things. I was pretty disappointed of some of their eyeshadow palettes, even though they had good sales and it's a reasonable price. I thought they might be some dupes for things, but um, I have issues. Maybe if you guys want, I'll do um, a swatch test and, and do a look with one of my Makeup Revolution palettes. You let me know. So this is the Makeup Revolution Lip Amplification uh, it's, oh, it's actually a lip gloss. I wrote it down. Okay, it's called Epic Love. Let's see what happens. As far as the applicator. Now, it's got a dual foot applicator, and you know what's interesting? It's a very, it's a dupe for the Anastasia because it's got that slanted tip at the top, so I find that very interesting. All right, let's go in, see what happens. Color's pretty. Huh. Now obviously I'm applying these much quicker than I normally do. I would take my time more. It's an opaque gloss. I think it's going to be, definitely be a gloss. I don't think this is going to dry down to any kind of a matte finish. Um, I like the color. It's comfortable. It's working for me. I didn't know I bought a gloss, but hey, I'm not opposed to it either. That's all right. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop and um, actually get myself some makeup remover wipes instead of these baby wipes because I think it's going to take off the other ones a lot easier. I'll be back.